All right, folks, welcome back. This is Advanced Velotronomics with Dr. Spector. Uh, I normally teach the beginner class in the mornings, uh, but this evening it's time for the wacky stuff. It's time for the degenerate stuff. It's time for Bellatro Science. Let me tell you what we've got cooking so far. Uh, it's centered around the Perkeo Legendary Joker. Every round, this is going to give us a copy of a random consumable. Notably, it gives us a negative copy, and so we can kind of uh, keep accumulating these things uh, without taking up space. What we've done so far is we've made a couple of these Pluto cards, and with the help of the uh, observatory voucher here, every Pluto card is giving us times 1.5. And so over time, we get more and more Pluto cards. We get more and more of these times 1.5s. That is, you know, where our scoring is coming from, playing our leveled up high card. We've got Blueprint is compatible, will copy per KO, and then that way we can get even more Pluto cards each round. Uh, we've also got the Gift card. Gift card increases the value of your consumables. And so, you know, when Perkeo makes a copy, it copies this current sell value of $12, and then gift card is going to increase the value of all of our consumables, however many that we have. And so this gift card is representing our sort of long-term investment here. Uh, in the short term, you know, for our economic needs, we've got the money tree voucher raising our interest up to 20 interest. And then we also have the To The Moon Joker. Common mix misconception about To The Moon. To The Moon does not change the interest cap. It just increases the interest rate. So where you would normally get one per five, this gives you an extra one per five, um, raising it to two per five. A total of $40 interest with $100 saved. If you have all of the vouchers, then this you know can give you higher interest only when you have the vouchers unlocked. Uh, we do have six cents here, possibly giving us spectral cards. We don't currently have any sixes, but you know, we're on the lookout for potentially a standard pack could have another six because mainly I'm interested in is making a cryptid with Perkeo and then making copies of cryptid with Perkeo uh, because we've got red seal cards i want to make into steel cards using this chariot here um, i want to copy those effects with the mime and so if each card is giving me you know this red steel effect um, then i want to have more cards in hand and so what we can do is we can with cryptid copied with perkeo every time you use a cryptid it adds the cards to your hand directly you don't have to draw them and so you can use that a lot of cryptids at once to sort of artificially inflate your hand and break the hand size limit and then get much higher you know sometimes one-off scores that way so that's the plan that's what we're going for we're trying to find cryptid right now um, and you know maybe doing a little bit of work to clean up our deck um, I did you know in between the last video and this one I did do a little bit of thinking you know sort of planning here and I think uh, you know, maybe Hangman we don't need anymore. We're going to go all in on just making as many Plutos as we can. Uh, I was trying to copy this Temperance, but then maybe, again, that's going to be hard to do. And what we can do is, you know, once the Plutos get powered up with the gift card, that's the same as copying Temperance, basically. And so let's go. Let's pick up this Chariot first um, and then go into, you know, one of these packs here. So let's go. Uh, Mega Arcana pack. Uh, we do have a Fool. I can copy the Hanged Man if I want. And so maybe what I'll start with. Uh, also, by the way, long term, we're looking for the Baron Joker. The Baron uh, gives you another, uh, you know, times 1.5 on all of your kings, right? So if we go to the collection here. Uh... This is what we're looking for. So not just steel kings, or yeah, not just steel cards, but also kings that have the times 1.5, and then again, re-triggered by the mime. Okay. So let's start by, I will use the hangman to get rid of these cards that are not kings. 
Um, I don't have the red seal, so I'm going to keep holding the chariot. Maybe what I want to do is I want to use this temperance. And then with the fool, use another temperance. $50 because of all the work that the gift card's done. And the rest of this, maybe I don't need right now. The suits of my kings don't matter super much, just that they're kings. Um, before, when we were on the plasma deck, we were using the idol, and we wanted to play all of the same kind of king, all kings of hearts. This time it doesn't matter. Spectral pack again, looking for... Okay, so we've got another red seal, or actually we could just go straight in here with the red seal. Chariot. Uh, we do have the option... Do we want to use an ectoplasm? We've already used two, and that's how we ended up with negative Percale and negative Mime, and those we definitely want to have. Sorry, let's make sure to copy Percale with Blueprint. I, I, I keep forgetting, um, so then let's make sure that we do that. Uh, do we want minus three hand size? We would go down to just three hand size left over to have another negative. Um, these, I'm not necessarily interested in making negative, uh, do I want another red seal? I guess technically it doesn't hurt. So, you know, here's another red seal, I guess. Just cause. All right. Uh, I can use an emperor here since I have room. I can take this petroglyph voucher. So that's going to just reduce the scoring thresholds and so I have more time to build, more time to play around, more time to try to find my cryptid. And so the way that I find the cryptid is we're going to reroll. We've got the ghost deck so we have a possibility of uh, these, uh, what is it, the spectral cards showing up in the shop. So let's see what we can find. Uh, we do have that ectoplasm coming around and maybe what I want to do is I can take the ectoplasm and save it for later. That's a possibility. Though I don't necessarily want extra copies of ectoplasm. You know, I want Percale to copy my Plutos. Alright, so we didn't get what we were looking for and I think, you know, we're going to save our money and not re-roll just yet so you want to remember anytime you want to do re-rolling you want to think about spreading out my re-rolls between different shops because of the increasing re-roll cost this re-roll costs 15 but then when i go to the next shop the first re-roll only costs five so we can go ahead i think we can stop here and then maybe think about with this devil card I can try to make one of my red seals into a gold card and then get more money that way. Let's see. Okay, we did get more Plutos, which is totally fine. Uh, the Cerulean Bell forces one card to be selected. We can probably survive that, no problem. One of the things that's kind of awkward about the uh, Petroglyph Voucher is if you use it in Anti-9 and it goes down to Anti-8, it re-rolls the boss, and then you get one of these sort of final bosses. Could be annoying. Alright, I'm looking for my red seal cards. Right? And with only 12 cards left on the deck, I should be able to find it very easily. And so with the red seal, okay, I want to have the red steel ones, and maybe red gold also. Also, this just looks really cool, the polychrome gold cards. Uh, there is a purple seal in the deck. And so maybe if I discard like this, we can find that purple seal. And then now we have to ask the question, you know, with the mime already giving us a retrigger on the gold card, is a random tarot card worth six bucks? Or nine bucks if I copy the mime? And I think... For a random tarot card? I think not. I think we're going to get our tarot cards from just re-rolling in the shop and the occasional arcana pack. 
So I think we're good here. We'll ship the, uh, here's, I'll show you what the high card looks like. And then don't forget to move the blueprint back. Two million points. So, you know, we're not scoring crazy amounts so far, though we are, you know, it's just high card so far. All right. Uh, standard pack. I'm hoping to find maybe sixes because uh, the sixth sense can turn those into spectral cards. And I'm, I'm really just looking for cryptid so that I can copy my poly steel cards. We didn't get there on the six, so I'm gonna skip. Uh, before I open the Arcana pack, I'm gonna reroll looking for, you know, maybe there's some tarot card that I wanna use before opening the Arcana pack. This is perfect for us. So the Showman, what it allows us to do is we can get copies. So we can get copies of Blueprint, we can get copies of Mime. If we eventually get Baron, we could get more than one Baron, maybe. So this is perfect for us. All right, uh, Emperor, I should make room for, just to see what we get. Uh, we do get the Hangman, and so maybe now I want to convert to only my red steel and my red gold cards and get rid of the rest, these other flavors of kings. So get rid of the star, Keep re-rolling because I still have another slot. Do I want Immolate? I want to say probably not. Though, you know, my hand size is currently six. And if you show me six cards that don't include my red seal cards, and any of these other six or these other ten cards, I could be willing to get rid of those. So let's give it a try. Let's take the Immolate or, you know, maybe... It's not viable. There we go, the showman showing us all of these hermits. All right, so here, if I use the immolate, I will lose the power, I will lose my purple seal. I think I can live with that. So let's go ahead and immolate here. I did not lose the purple seal. That's exciting. Okay, uh, which of these do you want? Uh, let's take the third one. All right, keep re-rolling here. Looking for that cryptid. Uh, blue seal. We lost our blue seal. Uh, we're good on planet cards. Judgment, I don't need. Temperance, love to have 50 extra dollars. All right, I think that's all we can afford reroll wise, I think. We do have the one reroll voucher and so maybe we can afford a little bit more than that. Uh, we could get another purple seal. No, I think we're good with just the one. All right, that's it. You know, let's not blow all our cash here. Um, all right. Next, make sure we copy the mime for the extra money. Hangman, I'm going to... Regular steel card I don't need. Regular king of hearts I don't need. Now we've just got the good stuff kind of um this steel card i don't need purple seal i would rather hold for money actually so let's play the gold seal and there's that 40 dollars with the help of to the moon all right, uh, do we want Wheel of Fortune? The last tarot card we used was the Hangman. I do want the Wheel of Fortune. Um, there is a universe in which using the Wheel of Fortune will put an addition on some of these, you know, maybe foil, maybe holographic. It doesn't have to be, uh, you know, polychrome. 
And the benefit of that is when I later get a joker that I want to put a negative on, having these already be additioned means that they won't get negatives. These I don't actually want negatives, except for maybe the showman. I wouldn't mind. Uh, before I open the Arcana packs, let's look for more tarot cards. Move the blueprint over. I'm going to forget that at some point. I'm going to forget it more than once. So here's that ectoplasm again. Don't need the ectoplasm. Do I want the cola? I don't really have room for it, and I don't necessarily know what I would be skipping for. Like, I can't even imagine a tag that I would want. Emperor does give me two tarot cards. Hangman. What else might I want to remove? So I have an extra king here. I have the gold seal one. So I don't need any of that. All right, uh, let's go next. Next, next. Vampire removes my enhancements, no thanks. All right, Arcana pack. Ooh, we did get death though. So death, do I want more gold or more steel? I think short term what I want to do is I want to make more gold. And then long term, after I get the cryptid, I can use the cryptid to make the steel ones. So short term, let's go ahead and make this gold. And I guess I also have the devil that I can use to make gold. Uh, there's another arcana pack. So let's go death here. We got the fool will give us another death card. So I guess it doesn't matter if I make it into gold or not now. I'll get the opportunity later. Yeah, give me the death card. And then go next. Copying Perkeo. Okay, just checking. All right, random card will be selected. With only five cards, there's no way that can go wrong. Uh, I can copy the gold card. Uh, I won't get any value right now, but I can copy it. And we're copying the mime with the blueprint. Ship it. Okay, Fool will give me another death card, or Hermit will give me $20. Standard pack, looking for a 6. Did not get there on the 6, that's fine. Uh, the Planet Merchant, or you know, either the Planet Merchant or the Tarot Merchant, either of these making planets and tarot cards more frequent. I want mostly, well I want the spectral card so I can get the cryptid, but also potentially I want more jokers so I can try to get, you know, maybe more copies of my jokers. Let's see here, Emperor. Okay, Magician we don't need, Emperor again, Death card. So if I am going to go death, and I said I don't need the purple because I'm making more money with the gold cards, I can go ahead and use the death right here. Shiny. Beautiful. Alright, uh, I don't need any of this. Do I want to use the world card? No, I don't think so. All right, uh, let's roll. Now, I don't have any cards to use death on. I don't need strength. Don't need seltzer. Pluto is fine. Another copy to the moon. Has the ship sailed on the sixth sense? Would I rather have the money?
I think I'm gonna go money. I think with the extra rerolling power, you know, six cents just gives you a random uh, spectral card. And you know, if we're rolling through the shop, we'll get plenty of spectral cards, random spectral cards. Okay, uh, do I want a hologram? No. That's it, that's all we can afford. Running out of cash. Forgot to copy Perkeo. Classic. Uh, I guess we play this one. And that gives us money. Sorry about that. I don't know how loud that was, but there's a cat on my desk now. All right, uh, let's go High Priestess. Doesn't have what we want. Before opening Arcana, I guess let's re-roll. Maybe doesn't matter super much. This Celestial Pack will always have Pluto because of the telescope. DNA. Do I want DNA? Short term, a thing that I can do is I can make more copies of the gold card. Uh, I don't think we need DNA. You know, eventually we'll get to cryptid. And so, you know, having more cards in the deck doesn't really matter until we get to cryptid. So we don't need DNA. There's another DNA. Deja Vu. We already have Red Seals. Dusk. Aura, we already have Polychrome. Nice, bus. Uh, do I want the golden ticket? You know, cause now I can play my gold cards and they would re-trigger. Um, I think that's not as good as just having to the moon. Hermit here, and I guess, oop, jump scare. I thought it was, you know, it was blue. I thought it was gonna be a blueprint. By the way, reminding ourselves, copy Perkeo. We should have a counter. How many times I'm gonna forget? You know, it's only been one ante. I already forgot one time. All right, uh, that's all we can afford as far as like rerolls are concerned. Go next. Show me the money. Viewers at home, can you tell? Can you tell that this one is steel and these are all gold? <laughs> okay, uh, buffoon pack. I would like to get a baron. That's the main. Baron, Invisible Joker, you know, more blueprints, I guess. Brainstorm. Arcana Pack, I'm just looking for Fool for money. You know, Temperance would also be good. Um, let's start rolling. Another gift card. Is second gift card better than plus $20 every round? You know, here I've got, uh, I think short term to the moon is going to be better, but I think long term extra gift card is going to be better. And so, you know, here we already up to 15 Pluto cards. Yeah, let's make the swap. So to the moon, you can go away and then we'll go another gift card. Cool. Troubadour, extra hand size. This is one of those where, you know, in the ancient past, uh, it used to be you could make these negative with ectoplasm, uh, and then, you know, you get an extra 
hand size, but it doesn't cost you a Joker slot. And then uh, it used to be that the invisible Joker made copies and didn't remove the negative, and so you could make infinite negative copies of Troubadour and have infinite hand size. Wild, lawless times of the past. Uh, strength? Come on, get over here. Priestess? Uh, actually, I'm just gonna sell the Priestess. Because, you know, if I get a fool, I wanna copy Hermit. Or maybe Temperance, I would prefer. Actually, wait, I already used an Emperor, right? Oh well. Strength I don't need. Judgment I don't need. Getting expensive. Uh, hangman I don't need. That's it. Play only one hand type. Uh, what would you prefer? How about high-ish card? So jazzy, all those little snapping sounds from the gold cards. Uh, what are we looking at here? Okay, blank voucher. We'll take it. Hopefully, we'll see the uh, antimatter later. Um, mega buffoon. No, what's it called? Uh, Baron. I could get a certificate. I could get a random card added to my hand, and then use death to turn it into one of my kings. You know, maybe that's an argument for having taken that DNA card. Though I think, you know, the to the moon and the gift cards are better than the DNA. Uh, spectral pack. Maybe this has a cryptid. Or we could get a random rare. I'm not willing to give up my money and I'm not willing to sacrifice my jokers. So that's okay on the spectral pack. Pluto, sure. Every little bit helps, kind of. I don't, I don't remember if I said this in the last one, but you know, there is this question of should I be playing or should I be using these? Sorry, should I be using these Pluto cards or should I be holding these Pluto cards? And like, you know. He, each Pluto card gives you plus one molt, and so it would take 30 Pluto cards in order for this to double. And so, you know, having just two of these, that's a times two, is worth using 30 of them. And so, you know, we don't actually need to level up high card any more than it already is. Maybe that's an argument for instead of taking the Pluto here, we'll just keep the, you know, we just use the Temperance. And so we want Fool to copy Temperance instead of copying Pluto. That's a consideration. Uh, I'm still going to take the Pluto. It's a small boost, but, you know, enough small boosts could add up. Ectoplasm again. We've got Ectoplasm every time I want. Cryptid. Dang it. Uh, I don't know if we have a ton of money left for re-rolling, so we'll stop there. You know, we want to say keep the $100 for the interest. Make sure we're copying Percale. Uh, oops. Copy the mime. All right, go next. Okay, 150 million so far. Each Pluto sells for 21. All right, this is not what we're into. Celestial pack has a Pluto. All right, looking for more temperance. 
looking for that cryptid card. Where is that cryptid card? Copy Perkeo. Immolate again? We would die. That'd be kind of funny. Uh, let's take the fool and maybe, you know, this fool can become a temperance. Uh, maybe not. Polychrome 8-Ball. Hermit is fine. Space Joker, you know, even though we're only playing high card, you know, we already said we don't really need to level up anymore. Trance, and that's it. I apologize, folks. Until we hit Cryptid, it's not going to be too spicy, necessarily. Let's go Celestial Pack for that Pluto. Roll through the shop looking for Cryptid. Immolate again. Immolate and Ectoplasm. They just keep coming around. Pluto again. Pair of buses. Wonder where they're going. Immolate again. Okay. Ah, uh, fifteen dollar reroll. Mm, let's go Arcana. Uh, death. Not right now. Sorry. Not sorry. All right. Blueprint copies per kale. Hand is drawn face down after each played. Well, how about I just play the one hand? If you don't mind. Okay, antimatter for an extra Joker slot. I'm in the market. Alright, wow me. What kind of joker do you want to offer me? Uh, spectral pack? Gold seal? I don't need. Probably don't need. Arcana pack? We've got, uh, 20 bucks. Blueprint copy per KO, before I forget. I'm doing good so far. Uh, Pluto's fine. Maybe I don't have to, maybe I don't have to use it right away in case a fool shows up. That's me. I'm the fool. Uh hey, not this time. He's a genius. Alright, uh again we'll take the fool. Maybe there's a temperance that'll show up. Ouija is not what we want. Cryptid? So elusive, that cryptid. Yeah, let's go Hermit, Pluto, yeah, let me snag this Pluto, keep rolling, $15 reroll, maybe not keep rerolling, ro re alright, what's the next boss, we got the wheel, it's gonna be face down, okay, copy the mime, all right, seven million we know we can do. Um, I think we can already do, you know, a couple hundred million, right? So maybe anti-12 is gonna be where it starts to get suspicious, sketchy. Yeah, let's scope it out. Where are we at? So we do have two billion points. So we are safe for a little while longer, but we really do need that cryptid or a Baron to show up or both. Um, buffoon pack, show me a Baron. Hmm. Uh, we do have the extra Joker slot, so I can take this Cola. 
standard packs we no longer need since we got rid of the sixth sense uh full copies of hermit or maybe temperance wraith so there is an option there is a version where we keep a copy of wraith on hand and then after we spend all our money we spawn in a bunch of rare jokers and just see what we get and then after we lose all our money then we sell the pluto cards that's let's give that a try so I'm gonna pick up the Wraith and I'm gonna save it for later. Forget forget that's there. And let's re-roll. Baron and Cryptid. $15 re-roll. Yikes. Alright, blueprint copying per KO. Next. All right, we were at two billion before and then now four billion. So, you know, with the two Pluto cards, it's about times two each time. Though, you know, maybe if we go look at the blinds here, if it's times two each time and the difference between six, 15 and 16 is this is, uh, you know, 10, to the fourth, so this is a difference of 10,000 times. Our extra two times each time is not gonna work out long term. So we do need, you know, maybe another copy of Blueprint, maybe a Brainstorm does the same thing. Uh, I really want that Cryptid at some point. Ramen. Some consideration for with the standard packs, I could try to pick up an extra card since we have max hand size six. What's the boss, by the way? Oh, the boss is the face down one. Okay. 78 tarot cards we've used. Uh, Priestess, nah. Uh, I guess we have an empty Joker slot and this golden Joker pays for itself. So we might as well, and we can always sell it later. Does sixes do anything for us? I don't think so. Fool will give us a hermit. Ouija again. Mime again. Okay. I'm interested. You've got my attention. Okay. Go next. Oh, I wonder what this one's gonna be. All right, so the mime is mostly, it's just money right now, but you know, we're hoping to get the Baron eventually, and then it'll turn into scoring. Though we do have kind of, you know, like I said, limited amount of time to find the thing that we're looking for. Uh, okay. Celestial packs are just Pluto cards. Which I don't necessarily hate. Reserved parking with all of these re-triggers from the mime. Uh, how much money is this actually? Right, because if this is, you know, one, two, three, four. So you play it and then your red seal. So that's one, two. And then mime makes three, four, possibly five with the blueprint or maybe blueprint copies the parking. So if I've got four per card, that's about you know, $16 per round or something like that. Uh, is that worth, you know, selling a gift card? Gift card currently giving me more than that. 
I think maybe parking is not it. Though, you know, it's close. It's close to the moon here. Maybe long term could be worth it. Short term, not worth it. Yeah. Let's give it a try. It's at least something. It's, and that's kind of fun. Uh, we do have another cola, which now we can't buy. That's okay. I'm not mad about it. Uh, we are in the situation where now we've got the wraith and then more wraith. And so the question is, are we spending down all of our money? Maybe spending down all of our money on rerolls and then trying to use this wraith after the fact. I think I'm going to hold off on that. And I think what I want to do is I want to find the cryptid first. So, sorry, Wraith. Maybe we'll pick one up and save it for later. We are maxed out now. All right. Show me cryptid. Death is not what I want. Though, you know, maybe a death card would be compatible with a standard pack. Any card, I can death it into a gold card. Kind of awkward that we only have five cards left in the deck. Maybe that was an oversight in our planning. Let's go Perkeo, copied with Blueprint. Uh, both of those are Plutos, makes sense. All right, uh, in the next round here, uh, do I want mime triggers copying the gold effect or do I want to add an extra I think this is better. So, you know, you want to have a balance between uh, the actual effect, the gold card, and then the re-trigger effect of the mime. And I think, you know, with three, two mimes and the red seal, and this is one in two to give one dollar, maybe this is better on average. Yeah, let's do that. Again. Copy per KO. All right, um, we no longer have empty slots, so I can't buy the Emperor. Let's go Arcana Pack. We could do the soul. What could the soul give us? There's a one in five that we get per KO. The rest are kind of useless, maybe. Uh, there's the one that debuffs all the bosses. So we could get in a situation where certain bosses will just kill us. You know, if they debuffs all our kings or debuffs all of our hearts. Currently, they're kings of hearts. And so maybe there's two out of five that we might want. Okay, in which case I have to sell... Parking is the weakest link. Though it does hurt our income if we do that. All right, let's give it a try. Soul. Tribole. Uh, is great for the other build that we're doing on the Plasma deck where we had the idol and then all of the re-triggers on our kings of hearts. Uh, in this build right now is not really what we want to be doing. Unfortunate. So let's see what we can do instead. Maybe let's start with, you know, some more re-rolling again. Looking for that cryptid still. Clown, you know, that's not nothing. That's a free re-roll. Uh, golden ticket, no. Six cents coming back around. Banana we don't need. Constellation we don't need. Uh, gratification, this is worth six bucks. If I sell the clown. Sure, why not? Uh, 
That's going to be it. Okay. More Pluto cards. Look, Ma, no discards. sad i'm sad we lost the parking for that legendary uh we do get 20 bucks here so i'm not going to complain about that maybe we can re-roll into something better by the way mailing rebate if you didn't realize uh it always picks a card in your deck so it picks a rank that's valid and so if we have all kings, then this will be all kings. Except we don't have that many kings. Golden Joker is worse than delayed gratification, technically. Uh, extra gift card? Don't mind if I didgeridoo. All right. Uh, we can roll down that much. More Pluto cards. No Wraith cards. Which is okay. Alright. Discards two per two random. Oh no! That makes me sad. Extra discard voucher, no problem. Uh, celestial packs for more Pluto, no problem. Uh, or another black hole. Nice. Okay. Let's go. Blueprint. Okay, what do we want to blueprint? Well, I guess I'm gonna sell this. You've been a trooper gift card. You've done the Lord's work. We've got $40 Plutos. Each one is a temperance. And now we get to do this. Now we get to copy Perkeo. I don't hate that. And now I feel better about rolling. Maybe, do I wanna roll harder? Where are we at? Let's, I, want, I need my cryptid, right? Cause if we go to the blinds here, uh, in anti 13 wait it's already 47 you know however much <laughs> uh okay so let's do this let's roll down and then we're going to use the wraiths and then we're going to sell some of our plutos maybe but it is a desperate situation too late for the bull Campfire, that's funny. Uh, clown. So I am going to use the wraith, and when I use the wraith, I want to make room. And the way that I'm going to make room is by selling my gift card, and then that way I get a free reroll. All right, so we're out of money. Get rid of the clown. Use the Wraith. That's 
A solid one. I don't hate that. Brainstorm. Okay. Uh. Yeah, let's keep rolling. Gift card. Show me. Maybe I guess I get to do this first. Reroll. Wraith. The Baron? Okay. Alright. Now we gotta do some calculations. So, let's see here. We've got... Baron gives us 1.5 molt, and we get 1.5 molt from our steel cards. Okay. So that's two triggers. And then we've got, you play the card, or... So there's the standard one, when you hold the card. There's the red seal as one retrigger. There's the mime and then second mime that's two more retriggers. So currently we're sitting at, this is four times two, because it's king and steel, right? So it's four times two right now. So I want, you know, one copy makes it now four times three, two copies makes it four times four. And then so the extra copy it can go either way. It can be either triggers or re-triggers. It works out to five times four or four times five. And so we'll copy the mime instead. And so maybe this is what we'll do. I'll put Perkeo here and I'll put Baron here. There we go. Now we're good. And if we wanted to for interest, sell some Plutos. Now that we have the Baron, I don't need the Plutos as much. I could have gotten an extra copy with Brainstorm. Okay. How do I organize that? Let's do this. These over here. This over here. This over here. There we go. Okay, Brainstorm is copying Baron. These blueprints are copying the mimes. Uh, I'm copying the mimes because the mimes give me not just the steel cards, but they also give me gold cards. And now we're good. So this scores. And we still get all of the observatory value from our Plutos. Oh yeah, even without the Plutos. Oh yeah. Now we're cooking. And we still get all that money. Okay. <laughs> um, let's check the boss. Let's make sure the boss is not going to ruin us. Okay, play one hand. That's no problem. I could do that. Okay. Um, let's... How do I... Perkeo goes here, Baron goes here. I'll figure that out later. Okay. Uh, Arcana pack. What am I looking for? I'm looking for temperance. Uh, no temperance, but... All right. We scored enough points, so I don't need death. What I really need is just cryptid. So we can skip this or, you know, maybe now we can use the wheel, I guess. I have enough jokers now that it doesn't matter if they get additions. Uh, standard pack here for an extra card for me to death is probably what I should have done a long time ago. So let's go ahead and let's just get an ace and try to death it. All right. Baron again? You want me to Baron again? Uh, hold on. Greedy Joker I don't need anymore. Bootstraps I don't need anymore. Let's, let's clean this up a little bit. Um, yeah, I'll take another Baron. What do I want to get rid of? 
I guess. Showman, that's it? Okay. Fool for a Wheel of Fortune? Sure. Foil? No problem. Gift card again? I mean... Cryptid? Okay. We got the technology. So now... Alright, here's a move. Here's the move. Maybe controversial. We're done with Pluto. Right? All these Plutos can go away. I apologize, it's going to take me a second to sell them all. Cryptid, get in here. Four copies of Perkeo. Uh, do I need to reroll for anything else? Maybe reroll for random. I don't know. Random negatives. Uh, negative invisible Joker. Negative, you know, any of these goons. Uh, now are we at the place where we want that extra, extra juicy ectoplasm? Yeah. Oh, parking. Bummer. All right, we got plenty of money. Uh, yeah, maybe ectoplasm. You know, since we got the money, might as well roll it. Wheel. I guess technically wheel. We could get more wheels. Spin the wheels. All right, let's go next. Oh, <laughs> that's it. If you didn't know, that's it. That's the technology. Um, now this ace feels really silly. Oh, well. Uh, okay, so how do I want to organize my jokers? I want to... It was, Perkeo goes here, out of the way. Baron can go here, and then that way, where before I had, uh, you know, five re-triggers and four triggers, now I've got five and five. Yep. Wait a second, is that true? Because uh, I've got trigger and then re-trigger from the red seal, and I've got two mimes so that's four five six and then for my triggers I currently have uh, currently have steel baron baron and then another baron so I need to convert one of these re triggers into a baron so let's do this nope just like that we've done it he figured it out. Everyone at home already figured it out, but I figured it out. All right, so now I am interested in, let's make the extra gold cards short term, because I want the money. That's easy. I say it's easy and then I hesitate. <laughs> uh, and then let's see how much we score. I think that's going to be the thumbnail. Okay. 
Pluto, sure. Uh, Arcana pack. Uh, yeah, I am kind of looking for maybe a death card. So let's reroll first. Maybe I can get a death card. Aura, I don't need. Uh, Fool, maybe. Copying money. Pluto. Alright, didn't get there on the money. Oh, we did though, because we got temperance here. Fool gives me temperance. I mean, we got so much money. Right. Um, okay, so I need blueprints copying Perkeo, and then Brainstorm will copy Perkeo. Go next. <laughs> Uh, then let's go. Perkeo goes back over here out of the way. We'll split the blueprints and we have an extra on the kings because we already have a retrigger from the red seal. Perfect. Go next. Play only one hand? Sure. How about this hand? All right, I've decided this is a better thumbnail. Someone commented, I need to up my thumbnail game. You're absolutely correct. Okay. And we got the palette, plus one hand size. Cool. All right. We're gonna stop here for now, and then we'll finish this up in the next one. You get to see what happens with all of these cryptids. You know, once we get to, you know, we're getting four or five cryptids per round. You know, what happens when we get to the place where we actually use them and we get the mega hand? You're gonna have to stay tuned for that one.